Hello and welcome back to this Game of Thrones series. We're still on episode one, so let's continue this right now. Word up to me. I'd gladly drive a sword through Lord Whitehill's heart if given the chance. I would. And God's willing, someday I will. But for now, I have House Forrester to consider first. Lord Forrester would be proud that you're putting the interests of the house ahead of your own. Many of Lord Forrester's best men have volunteered for the war. His own great uncle was a ranger with the Night's Watch. He promoted me. At the Twins. We were to ride in the van to Casterly Rock and. His uncle, but no. And I at Roderick's side, but. I don't give a shit. It was well deserved, Garrett. You worked hard and served your lord with honor. I've been waiting for the right moment to tell you. What? What is it? Lord Forrester asked me to give you a message. He said, The North Grove can never be lost. Sorry. You caught me by surprise. It's not often discussed, if ever. He said, Tell only you. Mm -hmm. For good reason. Most don't even know it exists. They think it's just a myth made up by wildlings and fools. And it's better kept that way. I assume you kept your word. You haven't told anyone else, have you? This is important, Garrett. I need to know the truth. Of course not. I told no one. Well done. Lord Forrester was right to put his trust in you. Oh. From this day forward, this will be our nice secret. <laughs> but soon, I may need your help. But I can't say anything more just yet. Just know the North Grove may very well be vital to the future of this house. But don't breathe a word of it to anyone at the wall. Become a ranger if you can. It will help. Iron from ice. Iron from, Iron ice. from ice. Remember, you represent House Forrester. Your actions at the wall will reflect the honor and dignity of the house. I'll serve with honor. I know you will. Or will I? <laughs> I will fuck this up. No. I will not. Garrett, wait! Oh, I will pick that up. Thank you. Be safe. Got the achievement for that. Thank you. Ethan. Oh, stupid Ethan! I re I hate him Ethan. already. Uh. I couldn't find him. Could you? He hides too well. And if he was smart, he would reveal himself. I don't like this game anymore. Maybe something happened to him. Ethan's fine. He's just forgotten this is a game. I win. Congratulations, oh, okay, so you can, your you play lordship. As Ethan too. Don't worry. It's just a game, Ryan. A stupid game. I don't like it. He was worried you were gone. I thought we'd never find you again. I'm right here, and I promise, I'm not going anywhere. I wish Mira was here, and Asha, and... and Roderick. I do too, but Mira's in King's Landing, and... Can't she come home? I don't want her to die too. <laughs> King's Ryan, Landing, why should you die in the King's safe, Landing? I promise you. I don't want Gareth to die either. 
Maester Ortengrin said he got sent to the wall. I'll miss Garrett. He was nice. Garrett's He'll be fine. Garrett is smart. No one will tell me what Garrett did, but it must have been serious. I heard Duncan and Sir Royland talking. They said someone will come here looking for revenge. Everyone's worried about you, but I'm not. I know you'll protect us. Who yeah. said they're worried about me? Well, Sir Royland for one. He says you can't fight very well. What? And he calls you a milksop. Sir Royland forgets himself. After all, you are the lord of the house now. I don't care what he says. I can protect you. What does milksop mean? I don't know. <clears throat> but I know it's not good. Ethan, you should let Sir Royland teach you how to wield a sword. Like, like, like a, a man. man. He because taught Roderick and shy. Asher, and he even showed me how to fight. Properly, I mean. A lord should know how to fight. <laughs> you are all gonna die. Do you remember when we were younger? When we all used to play here? You, me, Roderick, Asher. We'd all be out here for hours. I'm crying. Yeah. No. Where was I? You weren't born yet. We had so much fun. But then... We had so much fun when, when you weren't born. <laughs> Roderick became so serious. The Lord in training. And he never smiled anymore. And Asher... Asher just got angry. At everything. Promise me you won't be like that. Please. Just be you. I like you the way you are. I don't like the way you are. I know a lord has many responsibilities, but you don't need to be like them. It's for you to decide for yourself. I may have to change. I'd rather have my brother than a lord. You'll have to have both, I'm afraid. <laughs> but since you're the new lord, you can do anything you want. I suppose. Everyone will have to do as you say. So. I could have all the sweets I want. If only it were that simple. It would be nice if someone did what I wanted for once. But Ethan will be a good lord. A proper lord. That's not how it works. Well, that's how it should work. You are the lord. <laughs> lord Ethan, you're needed in the great hall at once. Quickly, on your feet. What's the matter? Lord Whitehill has arrived. Unannounced and certainly unexpected. He's come demanding justice. Can't he meet with Duncan? He is the Castellan. Stay with us. Please, Ethan. He's demanding an audience with the Lord. We really must go. It's your decision. You are the Lord. If I were Lord, I would command Ethan to stay with his family. Lord Whitehill is a mean old man anyways. I might remind you, Sir Royland. I'm the new Lord of House Forrester, not you. Of course, my Lord. It's okay. You should go. It's what must be done. <laughs> Fine. Let's be done with it. You're going the wrong way. What? They were... They, they walked a different direction, so... And now they're together. Um, yes. They showed up unannounced. Lord Whitehill is in a lather. I assume you explained to Lord Ethan why they're here? The business with Garrett. I told him. Lord Whitehill knows Garrett is a squire to this house. Or was, I suppose. Is. Was. It makes no difference. The Whitehills were clearly in the wrong, so don't give him any satisfaction. satisfaction. Out there, you said you were the Lord. Now prove it. Let's not do something rash. Things are bad enough as it is. I can handle Lord Whitehill. Well said, my Lord. Now is not the time to anger Lord Whitehill any more than he already is. He's got five times as many men, and the backing of House Bolton. All the more reason to stand up for ourselves. Only cowards and dead men roll over. Okay.
Lord Ethan, is it? My condolences for your father and brother. The late Lord Forrester was no friend to me or my house, but to his family it's still a loss. My only regret is I wasn't there to drive the dagger into his heart myself. I've been waiting for this day all my life. The Foresters finally get their due. My father died a hero, fighting for the North against traitors and oathbreakers. Aye, and look where that got him. And no bread and salt. What kind of fucking house receives fucking a lord house. with no fucking bread and salt? You bloody amateur. No courtesies. I should have expected as much. Bloody foresters. Calm yourself, old man. You little fuck! That's how you talk to a lord? You foresters have shit on us for generations. <laughs> well, now the Starks are no longer around to have your back, are they? Did they shit on We're them? the power of really? the North now. Roose Bolton is the Warden of the North. Aye. And we've been his bannermen for five fucking centuries. You cunt. Lord Ethan, you're losing control of this. Lord Whitehill, please. I'm not finished. Maybe if you hadn't been so fucking greedy with the ironwood, things would have been different between us. You squandered your share. Our share was taken from us. We had no fucking yes. choice but to harvest what was left. What is it you want, Lord Whitehill? Your man, the squire. We were minding our own business, keeping the king's peace, as his lordship here said. When your man attacked us for no reason. Hear that? Attacked for no reason. No reason? You murdered his family. Then you admit it was your man who killed my men. And a pig farmer at that. How do you answer for your squire, Lord Ethan? He acted in your name. And you are the lord of this house. We lost people too, Lord Whitehill. Your men murdered his entire family. You lost pig farmers, not soldiers. The soldiers were the hundred of their type. Where's the fucking coward who killed my men? I know he's here. What have you done with him? I took care of it. He received his punishment and it's done. He's gone. What? Gone? That was my justice to deliver, boy, and you denied me of it. Gone, I'm not leaving kind of, until I have my justice. Wrong, so. Now bring me the coward who did it, or you'll answer to Roose Bolton. What kind of fucking house is this? A house of honorable men. Lady Forrester. You bellow like a wounded boar, Lord Whitehill. Have you forgotten your manners? E I mean no disrespect to you, my lady, considering your losses and all. But this... This is not over. It's over when my son says it is. Thank you for coming, Lord Whitehill. Ethan is Lord of Ironrath now. By rights, his word is law here. If that displeases you, then I trust you can find the door. That I think that uh, I have Lord of this cool. house. But Lord Bolton will have the final say. I'll send him a raven, letting him know a Forester man killed one of his own. That the new Lord Forester lied to my face and denied me my justice. Then we'll see whose word is law. Do as you like, Lord Whitehill. Kill that man. I was wrong about your son, my lady. He stood up to him like a true lord. You were brave, my son. But you'll need to be braver still when Ramsay Snow arrives to see you bend the knee. Prepare a raven. We need to send word to Mira in King's Landing at once. I don't want to bend the knee for Ramsay Snow. Ooh, King's Your Landing. sister can help us. Although just a handmaiden, she has Marjorie Tyrell's favor. 
and Lady Marjorie's betrothal to the King may be enough to keep the Boltons at bay, if it's presented to her as it should be. Oh, I can walk. La 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 la. Wonders made by man, by Lomas Longstrider. Lomas. A gift from Roderick. Okay. I hope to see them all someday. They're all dead. Ethan made this for me. It was very kind of Lady Marjorie to give this to me. It once belonged to Lady Elena. Father, much excitement here in King's Landing for the coming wedding. Lady Marjorie has proven to be quite popular throughout the city. I do wish you and Mother could come, although I know it would be impossible under the circumstances. I miss all of you. And I look forward to oh, the day you can. Her letter sent it then, but she didn't send it. Asher sent me this coin to remember him. What a strange place, Essos. Jesus. Yes, I want to take the banana, please. Let it from Mado. It troubles me to even ask this of you, but you must appeal to Lady Marjorie to intervene on our behalf. She is our best hope and can be a powerful ally, especially now when your family so desperately needs her help. No pressure. No pressure at all. Yes, I will stand still here and uh, like a stick. I am a stick. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I will open the door. One moment. Oh, sorry, milady. I, I didn't mean to disturb Damn, you. Damn, the deep voice. I can come back later if you'd like. No, it's fine. Come in. Begging your pardon, my lady, but you are right. If you don't mind my asking, you seem rather upset. I'm fine, thank you. Of course, my lady. Please hurry if you can. Lady Marjorie will be here any minute. Of course, my lady. You're slow as you fuck. You work for Lady Marjorie? I may be wrong, but it seems like you do. I'm her handmaiden. That's what I thought. I've seen you with her before. You seem like good friends. I saw Lady you? Marjorie just this morning, outside the Royal Sept, talking to Queen Cersei. Cersei? They appear to be Sir? having some sort of disagreement. I couldn't hear much, but it was definitely an argument. You were eavesdropping? No, not at all. I was just passing by and I heard them arguing about House Forrester and- House Forrester? I thought you'd like to know. Forgive me if I was mistaken. I hope you're not in any kind of trouble. You're... Most people don't tend to notice a cold boy. Not in King's Landing, with so many lords and ladies about. You see and hear all sorts of things when people don't even know you're there. Good night, my lady. Good night, it's fucking morning. Come on. Ah. 
Can't you see the time difference? Lady Marjorie, you're early. I was hoping there would be time for us to talk. Come, there's something we must discuss. <laughs> 